I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. Don Was is a true musical renaissance man. He has won six Grammy Awards. Records produced by him have sold 100 million copies. And as president of the iconic Blue Note label, Don has also worked with the greats. All of this creativity has a deep-rooted sense memory anchored in Detroit. He spoke about it with WBGO's Daybreak host, Gary Walker. It was an incredible environment to, to grow up in. You know, it was right after World War II, all these people uh, came from all over the world to work in the factories and brought their cultures with them. And it all turned up in the music of the city. And there's something about a one industry town like that, where everybody's kind of in the same boat, no point in putting on any airs. It's a very honest, unpretentious city. And the music reflects that, whether it's, are like John Lee Hooker to me is the epitome of Detroit music as soulful as they come, but about as raw as you can be without the music completely falling apart. <laughs> and through your work as uh, the head of the Blue Note record company, which you've mm -hmm. held that position since 2011, I, I think I read somewhere where 20% of the artists on that label came or come from Detroit. It's an insane amount, and there's not even a close second, uh, you know, from Donald Byrd and Joe Henderson and Elvin Jones and Thad Jones and Hank Jones. And I mean, the list is crazy. It goes on. And Paul Chambers, Ron Carter. Ron Carter grew up about a mile away from me. This all comes together for you, and not just in discussion with me today, but it comes together with a tour that features uh, Don Was and the Pan Detroit Ensemble. The inspiration for it is, of course, the, the music we, uh, we we grew up listening to and playing, and trying to reflect that in modern times. So it's it's jazzy. We got some great soloists, and we, and, uh, and it's got a groove under it too, though. You know, so it, it it's it's very Detroit. It's raw. It's not smooth. Opposite of smooth, <laughs> but uh, it it was really nice to go back and and put a band together with nine people who all grew up in the same milieu and and we instantly had a, a, a beautiful musical conversation going you can hear gary walker's entire conversation with don was at wbgo.org slash music i'm doug doyle wbgo news